Hello everyone, welcome to the August 2018 update for Project Gogan. I'm your project manager, Gerard Moroni. Here's the agenda for today's call. A bit of an overview about Gogan, what have we done last month and what are we doing this month, and some important dates for you to be aware of. So Gogan is all about delivering smart contracts for the Cardano platform. It involves changes to our architecture. We've got a settlement layer, we're going to build a new layer called the computational layer. It involves virtual machines, which will allow us to run smart contracts. Uh, and it also will involve, obviously, changes for the user, be they developers or end users. So end users will be able to use smart contracts, uh, and developers will have tools to create them uh, on Cardano. So last month, uh, we continue our, our work on sidechains, uh, turmeric ledgers, and multi-currency. Uh, the research is maturing, and um, we're also in the process of doing the formal methods work, uh, prototypes and models, which inform some of the research. So we're happy with how that's going. For Plutus, we finished coding of the core library, and this is the processing and execution module for Plutus core. Uh, reads, writes, type checking, and executing of Plutus programs. And we're now we're testing it. For Marlow, we almost finished the formalization in Coq. Coq is the formal proof management system. And the work we've done provides a path to be able to prove properties about contracts. So for KVM and Yelly, a lot of work going on, but um, some, uh, some, some things in particular you should be aware of include the LLVM backend, which allows us to improve the performance of KVM and Yelly, the Plutus to Yelly compiler, uh, which allows us to take Plutus programs and have them compiled down to Yelly and run on the LLVM and semantics-based compilation, which allows us to define the semantics of a language and, and, and create a compiler so you can translate from one language to the other. For end users and external developers, our product manager has started working with uh, and talking to uh, the community uh, on Telegram, trying to get feedback about what's important to the community and how we can best serve that need. And for integration, we've had a workshop in, in the University of Edinburgh uh, last week where our scientists and engineers got together along with um, the senior management of the company to discuss where we are with Gogan, um, how the research has gone, and how we implement the research work into the, into the code in an efficient and timely manner. We're starting work on the documentation for Plutus and Marlow. Uh, it, it's all well and good to have some, some great software, but um, unless we have some educational materials and reference documentation for people, uh, they won't be able to use it properly. So we're starting a plan now to develop the educational material and technical content for that. Quality assurance is progressing very well. Um, our, our, our QAs are looking at how do we improve the quality of our software, uh, adding more tests, looking at automation, and also looking at being able to test performance uh, every time we do a new build, um, just to make sure that everything that goes out uh, performs better than what was there before. Uh, for marketing and external communications, um, I guess last month we, we spent a lot of time listening uh, to the community, and there were lots of questions about uh, the LA gas model, um, which uh, we're going to be addressing in September. And, um, very few issues were encountered on our, our testnet, so we're, we're pleased about that. Um, so we'll be telling you more about the LA gas model, as I said, in September. Um, and plans for this month. So architecture integration is a big focus. So out of a, the workshop in Edinburgh, we got options uh, for how we're going to implement smart contracts in Gogan, and that's going to be discussed um, and uh, the most appropriate option picked. It doesn't really change our plans, it just moderates the approach slightly. Um, and I'll be able to tell you more about that in the next update uh, at the beginning of October. We're going to advance the work on Marlow and Plutus development. So um, we're going to, in Marlow, we're going to be looking at how to start integrating the language into Cardano. Um, and for Plutus, uh, we were doing library testing um, and we're starting work on the high level language compiler infrastructure. Research and side changes is continuing. Uh, and when it comes to KVM and Yelly performance, uh, the Yelly gas model, 
the plus GLA compiler and semantic trace combination com compilation will also uh, move ahead and I'll let you know more about where that is in the beginning of October. So some important dates. Um, most of the dates have passed, but I just wanted to mention two papers that we've had accepted, a Marlow paper for Isola and a Yelly virtual machine paper for Popple. And this month on the 13th and 14th of September, uh, I'm going to be at the UP, UP Bit Developer Conference in South Korea, presenting smart contracts on Cardano. That's all we have for today. Thanks so much for your time and looking forward to talking to you next month. Bye-bye.